Today's hold at Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got rising talent Lewis Crocker after his second professional win here in Belfast. Firstly, congratulations on the win, champ. Thanks very much, Smith. Thank you. Second round TKO victory. Tell me mm -hmm. about the punch that ended the fight. Um, we started in the good to get into a groove, so it was, you know, I heard him in the first round, and uh, it was just, there was no power and hanging on, and it just came naturally, and he oh. dropped, and the performance went well. Everybody we speak to says you carry a lot of power, they mm -hmm. see it inspiring, they they know you're a big puncher. Do you mm -hmm. think this is it starting to, to come to fruition a little bit? Definitely, you know, uh, and actually, a lot of boxing talent, people think they just go out there and swing big punches and stuff, so I'm looking forward to getting tested in the next couple of years, and uh, show everyone what I can actually do. Mm -hmm. Come through today relatively unscathed. Mm -hmm. Would that be a sign that we'll see you out quick, quickly from now? Definitely, yeah. I'm you know, I'm healthy, I'm ready, ready to go. Uh, big card here next month. I would love to be on, as I said before. So, you know, I'm ready for it. Like Frampton Gutierrez, as you mentioned, is a big card. Frampton's mm -hmm. homecoming. Would would there be a strong possibility that you'll be able to get on that? You know, it's it's not up to me. It's up to my team. But uh, I, would, I would love them. To, you know, to, to put me on like a dream come true fit on the run of Frampton cards. When you see the likes of Carl Frampton and Jamie Conlon and uh, Paddy Barnes alike, does it inspire you to want to wanna achieve and put more in? Of course, you know, Bernard won the world title and all the other week. It's great, you know, Belfast is great, isn't it? You know, uh, uh, as long as keep putting in the hard work, you know, uh, my opinion, I'll be up there. Yeah, you mentioned, obviously, Ryan Bennett. Do you mm -hmm. look at someone someone like him and look at his progress and think, that's mm -hmm. the route that I want to follow? 100%, you know, I watched him. And it was one of the best performances I've ever saw live. It was great, you know, it definitely did inspire me, especially being so so young as well and he had a lot of setbacks and stuff so for a play him you know uh, it's definitely a big inspiration for himself. Second time we've seen you on Box Nation but we're yet to get you on the TV segment <laughs> of the card yeah. which I'm sure Box Nation will, will be uh, be putting you on very soon <laughs> at the rate you're stopping people so what what's the plan going forward? Will you be fighting on Box Nation more? I would love to you know uh, it doesn't matter uh, the fight in the back on I'll still put in the same performance so uh, so it's all the same to me you know it, that's up the end boys but I, I, would, I would love to get in, uh, some TV time sometime. Paddy Barnes is in action today, fighting for the WO European title and only his third fight. Mm -hmm. Would you be pleased to see Paddy be victorious? Of course, you know, uh, I think he's going to do it and I think he'll go really far. You know, uh, Su Su Shimming, I would love to see him and uh, Paddy fight, you know, to make a fight for a world title. So definitely I'm looking forward to watching it here and uh, seeing how he progresses. I know pa Paddy Barnes has got one eye on that Su Shimming fight. Yeah. That's his big money fight. Yeah, it's the so big money fight, yeah, for playing him, you know, for uh, chasing it as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is where the money's at. Mm -hmm. It's crazy the sponsorships that Zoo Shimming gets, isn't it? Right. It's ridiculous, you know, he's in, I was watching Fast and Furious the other day and he was in it. Zoo like, Shimming doing the nap, you know what I mean? So it just shows the type of money he's on. Speaking of money, Conor McGregor's going to go and challenge Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion on the fight? I think uh, Mayweather beats him, you know, handy. But as I say, win-win for McGregor. He loses against arguably the best boxer of all time and I uh, don't think he's really, really bothered if he, uh, if he loses Eller, you know. So on the paper, he's getting like 78 million from his purse. That's not in clean paper view value, so fair play to him. Do you think he looks at it as a high profile exhibition fight to a certain extent? It's pure entertainment, you know? Yeah. That's all it is. And fair play to him, you know, for, for both of them for getting it on. It's mm. great. It's great for sport and it's great for uh, the public entertainment as well. It's brilliant. I love to get another card out as well. So I'm <laughs> 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 here, I'm shouting everyone out, you know what I mean? We know Conor McGregor does watch the channel from time Serious, to time. Serious, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Get on Great, it. yeah, man. I would love to be on it. <laughs> <laughs> you better back him for a win. Lewis <laughs> <laughs> Crocker, thank you very much for giving me some time Appreciate today. It, Great to get you back on the See you soon.